there we go. Seems to be in one piece, which is all I wanted to record this bit for really. Something I didn't notice before, on the uh, ring which goes to the tripod, that all the paint is bubbly. Not that it will affect the performance, of course it won't. It's a bit amateurish though, I think. If I fumble up on this, you've got to understand I haven't scripted this video, it's just totally off the cuff, so enjoy. I'm using a Canon 600D camera, which is a crop sensor 1.6. At the moment I've got a 200mm lens on there to show you... ...what my first target is. Unfortunately it's gone right up there, there it is. First target is these tower blocks. These are 3.25 miles away. And although it looks like there's only one there, there's actually two different blocks. Uh, altogether, if I come out a little bit, it won't let me. Uh, but there are two lots of two. This video is not going together very well at all, is it? <laughs> there are two lots of two, and this is on full magnification on a 200mm lens. I will take a shot now, so to, uh, for comparison reasons. I will now set up the Jinto lens and see how well that does. I'm actually photographing these from within my flat because it's a bit breezy out there and you know what wind does to telephoto lenses. Well, the first hurdle has appeared already. It would appear that this thread is not the standard size and I don't think I've got any of the other size. I know there's a I shall have to look through my junk and see if I can find one. But uh, this is not good news at all. Well, it appears to be just a bit finicky. I took another thread off of another, well, off an L bracket, and it seemed to go on there straight away. But yet they're the same size thread, so it just shows you how awkward and finicky these things can be. Right, I'll now attach the camera and try and take an image. Right, after a bit of fiddling about, I've got the lens, uh, camera on to the lens. That wasn't easy as I thought, but there you go. I've lined it up already because I this is take two of this because I had the camera pointed at the wrong item, as you do. Let's go on to the live view. There's the four tower blocks. This is minimum view. This is 425 millimeters, and I will try the digital zoom now for you and that's just the first step I think there's a second one yep there it is it's maximum digital zoom and focusing is very very smooth I'm very impressed with the way that the actual zoom ring works on here Right, I will now take an image, but I will use a, what do we call it, uh, remote control. Because they tell you not to use, well, not to have any shake at all in the picture. So let's do that. Let's try the 800mm version and see how that goes. There's going to be some shaking about here, so worry not. Just 
move the zoo onto the flat. So Check the one eighty for the second and take the shot. Right, well, I'm lined up on Alexander Palace. I'm just going to move you a little bit so you can see Best to use a remote for taking photos when you've got a lens like this on because it's just so much. I'll show you what it is. I don't recommend that you buy this. It's one of them. I've got that from Amazon. .co.uk for about 20 quid, about 19 pound 90 something. But, uh, I'm not recommending that you buy it, it's just it's what I have. I don't get paid by anyone to do this video. This is all free. Good stuff. Eh? So this is 600 mil. This is four miles away, Ali Pali from me, Alexandra Palace. It's the aerial of Alexandra Palace. From what I understand, it transmits digital TV to some local areas which don't get the main one very well, and also DAB radio comes from there. And I think. I'm not too sure, but I think LGR, London Greek Radio, is transmitted from there. I wouldn't swear to it. My days of knowing that sort of stuff are well and truly... Uh, right, the next photos I'll be taking will be tonight, when it's dark. But there's, from what I can tell, there's going to be no moon in the sky. I'm where everybody goes for the moon, so I might try something different. Providing the sky is clear, I will have a go at Jupiter and Saturn and see what goes from there. 